Hello everyone and welcome to Tonic TV with me, Owain, and Alison's here uh, across the way from me there uh, and Dan's on the cameras. Welcome along uh, today. Um, Tonic TV, what is it? Well, it's your Sunday dose of Tonic Studios where we go through the deals that are available on the weekend. We also have a few demos as well. Alison's here to give us a, a cool demo today with the jam jar and alcohol markers. So that's what we're gonna do in. First of all, on the show, I'll go through what is available this weekend. We've got some awesome deals. It's like a color, a color spectrum filled sale full of so much cool stuff. Um, and I'll run through those a bit. So we're gonna show, you'll show them on the screen. You'll see the price and everything like that too. Um, but yeah, we'll kick it off. There's some mega marker pen bundles uh, this weekend. So first of all, it's the Earth Tones marker pens. It's 16 pens in total. There's five individual color combos there and the pens are individual. So you're gonna get them as a pack together. They're available 50% off. Um, would be £31.84, but you're going to get those for £15.92. So that's a, you know, a mega Earth Tones bundle to kick off. Next, I think um, always popular our weekend bundles are rainbow bundles. And this is a rainbow marker bundle. And you're going to get 18 marker bundle uh, marker pens there for 50% off. And that's all these you know, vibrant colours you can see in the picture there. You're going to be getting this six color combos which you know palette colors which go together really nicely uh, would be 35 pounds 82 but they're available for you for 17 pounds 91 which is an awesome deal uh, pretty much begins a marker pen collection for you if you don't have any markers already uh, next up we have got uh, the aquaflow pens so nouveau aquaflow pens if you haven't seen those aquaflow pens before uh, wonderful to blend create watercolor pictures all that, you know, you can create really cool backgrounds and stuff like that, can't you, Al? You can do all that you kind can. of stuff. Um, so yeah, Aquaflow pens are really popular, and these are three of our trends uh, which we've released, which are, if you, haven't, if you don't know about our Nouveau trends, uh, the color palettes that we release throughout the year, uh, and they have different sort of Nouveau products included in them, and they're often you know, in the same sort of color palette or have a theme to them. Uh, and these are three packs of Aquaflows that we've released part of the trends before. Uh, there are three pens in each of the packs, 65% uh, off in total. These three packs would usually cost you £35.97, but they're available for you for £12.59. Next up, we've got, for our stampers, we've got an ink pad bundle. Uh, you've got blue, red, and green there, and then the large ink pads, new rolling ink pads. 65% uh, off for this bundle, usually £35.97, available for you at £12.59. So there you go. Uh, and well, the penultimate bundle then, we've got our watercolour pencils. Um, you've got a colour splash is the name of the bundle itself. You've got three of them. There's 12 colour pencils in each. Awesome for blending. Um, yeah, doing all the watercolour stuff. A really, really cool set. They've got lovely colour palettes available for them. And it's 60% off, uh, down from £29.97 to £11.99. That's three packs of coloured Nouveau colour pencils. So awesome deal there. And finally, we've got watercolour pads. Three A6 pads, 40% off, uh, usually £17.97, available for you at £10.78. So yeah, they are some, that is a colouring. I know we use extravaganza probably too much. Certainly but is. that is a colouring extravaganza of a bundle. You're getting massive discounts uh, there for you. I think the top discount there, you've probably got 65% yeah, off on those Aquaflows. But you're getting all the different kind of types of to create vibrant sort of summer tones, all that really cool stuff uh, that you're gonna want to, you know, brighten your cards up and, and give them that real pop uh, to them. So yeah, check out those bundles. They're available only until Monday at 5 p.m. Uh, so yeah, check those out, they're available. So next up, we're gonna go over to Alison, who is over there with me, and we are gonna be doing a project using some of those marker pens that I've mentioned are on sale this weekend and using the mason jar or jam jar as maybe known as well. Uh, yeah, set to create an awesome project. So yeah, take it away, Al. Okie dokie. So this is the die set I'm going to use today. And everything I've used is from this one die set. So this is how your die set will come to you. So it's a full little pack and there's lots of ideas in there. It can go from being a floral vase to um, a sweet jar to a lemonade jar, as I've done, lemonade, lemon and oranges. Um, but lots of little ideas, jam jars, beautiful little ideas. Because we've got the little, almost like the mop cap that goes on a jam jar as well. So if you do make your own jam, what a lovely little gift label to tie onto your jam jars. So this is the card I'm going to be showing you today. So it's a, it's a little dinky card, it's uh, not a huge card. 
but I think it says it all. I felt hope and love was was the moment, the words of the moment. So they are what I've used in here. So how have I made it? I've done most of my cutting. I'm going to take these bracelets off because they're going to clank away on my glass mat and they're going to drive you nuts. Um, how have I started it? So let's pop my die set away. I've taken a piece of, this is a 250 GSM, just plain white card, nothing special about it at all. And I'm going to use your jam jar. It may be hard to see all your bits of your jam jar here. So you have your outer shape. And the reason you've got these little tabs is so that you can bow the jam jar on your card stock. If you tuck the tabs behind the jar, stick them to your card, you can have a nice little raised edge on it. So like all the dies on the, on the lovely sort of rounded, like I actually like the sort of the rounded edge edge to them that, that they have. Like they're in lovely organic, all the accessories you're gonna get. It's quite a, yeah, vintage sort of, yeah, older sort of, I, I don't describe it, like natural sort of feel to feel to the jar, I think like, a could go yes, like a homemade. Yes, like a homemade, a homemade, a homemade, and it goes well with the homemade. I'm mean, obviously make, obviously you're making it with paper craft. Yeah, it's just got a nice homely feel to the whole it set. Has. It's just, yeah, really it cool. has. Yes, again, you've got your little bee in this with honey as well. Yeah. So I'm going to use the biggest of these dies. So I'm going to pop those to one side, and the top edge, just the top edge here is going to go over the fold of my card. So I will turn it over and show you. Got a bit of tape here. Make sure you tape it down well. And I'll hold it up so I'm hoping you can see exactly then what I can see. But I'll turn the card over as well. Because this is what makes your card blank. So I've got, it's right over the edge there. And as you can see, well, I'm hoping you can see it. You can just see the cut edge and I'm actually going to move it up a little bit more here because I don't, I want a nice flat top to my jar. There we are. So the cut edge is right above the top of the card and I'm just going to run this through the machine. So as, uh, as we said earlier, you've got all these markers that we're going to show you in a moment, the alcohol markers, which are great for blending. Uh, you can create some more, some, some highly I think pigmented. Colouring, sorry, I think colouring is all about practice. And I think a lot of us at the moment have got a little bit extra time on our hands yeah, yeah. that we can spend to practice. It's a skill that you can learn. Um, it's always on my list to do. I still haven't... I haven't mastered it as I would like to master no. it. I, I think people. But maybe oh, one day. I say often people count like they count themselves up saying, "Oh, I'm, I can't color or I can't do this." But every colorist that you look at online, everyone that you see, they started somewhere and they exactly. and, and they learned. It, these people aren't naturally. They don't naturally color. Everything is is earned through practice. So yeah. just find that first video, look online, say you know how to color using marker pens and. You should be surprised the leaps you take because it's just that's right. You, you might be missing something which is so like obvious or something that to everyone else, but it's not for you. So yeah, really just get out there and learn. There's so many so much resources out there, whether it's our videos or other Marco Pen videos. You, you're gonna get loads of good advice, and this is a great set to start with because you can have well, you can have an entire like set there, like a, yeah. a, your rainbow or your earth tones like together. It's a you know, mega set for a really good price. But again, if you think, oh, do you know, life's too short. These are still a good set to use because yeah, I'm yeah. going to show you really quick ways of using them. So these are those little tabs I was talking about. So by folding those in on the front of your card and pushing them in gently, you can see you can develop a lovely curved jar. But I'm chopping these tabs off. I just wanted a bigger jar. So just cut them up the side. There they are. There's one gone and the other so there's my my little template just trim that bit again and i was thinking today if you want to comment if you'd like this card put a comment below and we'll send it out to you yeah so there's the base of my card all done and dusted so the next bit i did i have used our majestic gold pearlescent card but on saying that if i had thought and used my head there is a lovely gold in the set 
today. Um, but I didn't think at the time. And I'll show you now how this colours. These are, the metallic pens are water-based. So I could have used the gold. Once that's dried, you're going to have a lovely matte metallic colour. I did use the silver for the top. So I'm going to glue this in place. A little bit of our deluxe adhesive and I don't think it's in stock at the moment. Oh, hang on. There we are. We're all right. A little bit of glue. This is another one of those sets of jumper. You, you get everything you need within the set, pretty much. Like there are accessories available, the stamps and everything like that, which go go with it. But but I haven't you, used any of those. What what we're creating in this set is, you know, if you just want this jam jar set, which is available on the store, it's got everything you need. Like you got all those you know, cute little lemons and the, and those other bits and the tags and things like that. There it's an all go. in one set, so you got so much in there uh, mm. there for you. So there's my outer edge for my jar. Then I wanted to, I actually seem to have lost a piece or I haven't put it in, but it doesn't matter. I can do that on you. <clears throat> My first bit I'm going to do is the lemonade at the bottom. Oh, do one piece before you glue that down. Look at me, I'm think, not thinking of the order of this card. I'm just sticking it all down. I need to stick my straws underneath the top to make it look like it's going through the lid of the jar. So what have I used for the straws? I think I used um, a dark brown for the straw because I was thinking they were quite natural straws. I'm using Sandcastle for this, which is in the bundles for today. You can add um, highlights on it, but it's not vital. It's such a small element on your card that if you just want to have a little bit of fun colouring, then just do that. Yeah. And then this one is, put it the right way on, Vintage Walnut. So I'm going to just colour that in. And you've got your two layer straws. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. Darcy designed these and she's got a fabulous eye for detail. And that's, it's a, one of those cards again that they're gonna, the person who receives it, whether it's, you know, whether it's a gift tag, whether it's a card, whether you know, it could be an invite to a party. Uh, you could be Good. having a, you know, when we, when we can all have these parties again. Um, you can, uh, it's all those little details and things which are gonna catch people's, people's eye. I think that's the kind of thing that we're seeing in a lot of the dyes that we've been doing like recently. It's like but pe when people receive this stuff, they'll be like, how did you do that? And I think that's kind of the, the yeah. way it's like, what, this is handmade. And, and that's what you that's what you want to give someone, you know, you want to say, wow, you, that is amazing, you know, and, and how did you create that? Something they haven't seen before. And this will be something, you know, yeah. you could never buy this in a, you know, in a Clinton cards or you whatever, but you could never find that. You so, won't. Right, so I'm going to use a pa the paler of the lemons. Make sure I've got. So this one is bright sunflower. Is that the one I want? Always keep a bit of card by the side of you. Yeah, that's good. So I'm just going to roughly draw a line where I think my lemonade should be. This would be a good one as well. Next week is National Bee Day. I mean bees as in busy bees. Um, so this would be a good one. You can put your flowers in it, your bee on the outside. Entice the bees into your garden. There we are. It's not fair to trick them though, to, into thinking it's a... I saw a post on Facebook the other day where it was actually a beekeeper. But he had, he'd run out of, you know those, I don't know all the technology for beekeepers, I will be honest. Um, he'd run out to the, you know, the square frames that they make all the honeycomb in. Oh, yeah, yeah. So he just left the hive empty. And within a week, these bees had created almost like a sculpture out of the wax that they make the, the honeycombs Crazy. out of. It was unbelievable. You know, we all get these little... Um, these little funny things that we see at the moment. So I'm yeah. just adding a little bit of tone down the side. And it is only a little bit. Doesn't have to be there. You can just colour it all in yellow. 
And then actually what I did, I was having a little play and I thought, hmm, I wonder what I can do with the pencils in this. So I took the orange pencil and I just put a little bit of shading because your pencils will work with your alcohol markers again. Don't think that uh, you have to use them on their own. Like alone, if, if you were to, so say you were to purchase like the bundles like this weekend, you pretty much have, you have a colouring collection here. You've got, you know, you've got your earth tone markers for your more natural things. You've got your rainbow markers for your bright colours. You've got aqua flows as well for your true sort of watercolouring uh, with those. And you've got watercolour pads, you've got watercolour pencils. You've got a massive collection there for, I'd have to, I never, I never add up the entire price of the bundles, but if you were to get more, Maybe I'll do that while Ali's, uh, Ali's doing the demo. Do your but, maths there, But you're pretty much... I haven't done maths for a long time. I mean, don't worry if you think, oh, I don't know, I don't like it. I am covering up part of this, so I'm not even worrying about edges. So I've just added that little bit more colour by adding in the orange pencil. This is something I'm going to play with a bit more as well. I know I keep saying it, but I'm hoping I am going to get to that point where I can play a little bit more with colour. So I'm just going to pop my straw in. So the straw has to go down as far as the lemon. And then we've got a little straw then. Oops, that one's stuck. I just think they, they're just awesome and so, so cute. Yeah, so if you put all those bundles together, so all of the ones available, you know, that's £79.97. So it's like under 80 quid you're going to get pretty much all your colouring needs for, <laughs> for the foreseeable future. And I think, like, I was just thinking then, I think that's what people need a bit of colour now, because you can be in your house for a while. And, and when we leave the house is when we see all these amazing colours, you see the flowers, you see all that. Thing. The Chelsea Flower Show was on the other day. I think they did it from the gardens. Of people. They did it from their own people's gardens and things. It's incredible, isn't it? and mm. even you know, even if you walk a short distance from your home, maybe you've got a garden that's got every colour flower in. I haven't. I'd yeah. like to, but I haven't. Right. That's what it. Um, what it does, though. You you just like you can add the colour yourself. You know, you, you know, whereas you'd usually find that outdoors or or look in there, you can add it to your cards and bring the colour bring the colour to your project like you're doing with these or with a bright colour in selection, things like that. So yeah, add some colour, you know, we're in the summer-ish, aren't we? Are I we do think we're noticing more things. I certainly am. You know, when you go out for your walk, um, oh, I've got a couple of bits I've missed for that. So just curve your, your die cut, just to make it look that little bit more natural. There we are, add in a little bit more. So as you can see, I mean, I haven't, yes, I've done my die cutting, but that didn't take me that long, to be quite honest. Um, I've got some oranges and I've got some lemons. And again, in the kit, they come in two parts. So you've got your segments and you've also got your background colour. So oh, it's, it's dry, so that's fine. I didn't want to pick it up. So I'm colouring everything in. And this again is bright sunflower. So as you can see, there is absolutely no technique whatsoever at the moment. And then around the outside then, I am going, I'm wondering if they have another yellow. Maybe not. I'm just going with a brighter yellow around the outside. So you know when you've got the rind, just a little bit of a different colour to the inside of your your lemons. Don't worry if you come in a little bit too far, doesn't matter. I think it's a nice set the jam jar as well, in the fact that like, if you're not into your folding and you're making your 3D necessarily and doing, and doing all that, this is just, it's layering. And, it is. And, and you're layering and doing bit by bit, you're colouring that, you know, this little section, layering on top, you know, arranging it as you want. I think this is a good one for children as well. Yeah, I, that's, that's what I was, um, as, as a child, I, I, that, that's what I was thinking too. I was, uh, but I, I think, you know, some people that just aren't into, you know, we've had some awesome launches this week, you know, week 3D projects and yeah, but they're not for everyone. So for some people who want to just more layer in, build up that, um, as a more do every bit individually, then this is for, this is for you. The Jam Jar set's a great set for that. 
Oh, I think so, definitely. Mm. Right, so I've done honeycomb for the centre, so that's the paler orange. And then I'm going around the outside again with... Hang on, I can't see the colour because I've stuck the label over it. This is butternut squash. I love the colour. The colour names on these are amazing. And this is quite a poppy orange. There we are. Just make sure you've got a nice little even edge there. And then your segments are going to stick on the top again. And that was how all the oranges and, and lemons were created. So we'll just pop these. I did a few because I knew you didn't want to watch me colouring them all. There is a brighter orange as well if you wanted to add a very bright orange to the outside. And this is spiced orange. So you can go right the way around. And if you notice, I'm not using the bullet tip at all today because I'm not putting any detail. I am using um, the wide tip that we don't tend to use. Yeah, the chisel one. That's it, the chisel. If, if we think of the name there. I, it's easy to forget that you get you have got two ends on these pens. So you, you have, have got that fine, that fine one that, that Ali's been using for the finer detail. Or if you want to use the chisel for more broad strokes. There we are. And everything I'm doing here is using using the chisel. Like I say, I haven't used um, the smaller ends. Sometimes it does go through your card because I'm not particularly even using watercolour card or um, stamping card. It's just ordinary card. If you didn't want that to come through, because you can see it, you can always stick another die cut behind it that masks all that out. So we'll just pop some of these oranges and lemons in place because they are all, all ready to go. I just think they're really pretty. Mm. There we are, just layer these up. We'll have another one there, I think. And then we'll put a foam pad then just to give the others a little bit more of a pop. There we go. So I think our next bit now, I think I'll do the B. Oh, and I love this B. You know, sometimes there's little bits and they just capture your imagination. Mm. Well, the B is one of them. Because that's in two parts as well. It's really been a well thought out set. So there's all my my oranges and lemons. And it could be left like that. If that's as far as you want to go, then you could stay at that point. Yeah, you could like, put a sentiment at the top by the jar, thing like love or something like that, you know. You've got room to, to, to layer it up if you want. Right, so what am I going to do with this one? This is a little bee now. I'm colouring over here because it's got a black part as well. And I want you to, to, to be able to see both parts of my little bee. So I'm just colouring them all in one colour. And then I'm going to add a little bit of a... This is actually the honeycomb, which is an orange, but I wanted to go a little bit brighter on his wings. And then I'm going to put a little bit of a stripe down the centre of his back. I think a lot of these extra little details in these ones are the ones you're going to use on other projects. You know? Oh, I, I undoubtedly, I think these little bees are going to crop up everywhere. You know, and you, you're always going to get, and we try and have them in our, in our sets, bits which, all right, they came with a jam job, but you'll just be using them elsewhere all over the place, whether that be a sentiment or whether it be like the tags or little tag ones on you as well. If you add our alcohol shakers, yeah. what better than to pop yeah. in your little your little oranges and lemons? Right, your, your little wings, they pop forward. So I don't want to glue my wings down because I want them to have a little bit of a an extra dimension to them. There we are. If you wonder why, I know I've said it before, but I, I can say it again. If you wonder why I dab the glue off on my hand, it's just so that it doesn't squelch through because they're quite fine die cuts. Sometimes if you put too much glue, it'll squelch through from under your die cut. And that's what I'm trying to prevent. 
So there's our little wings standing up, proud there, and he's going to sit up there. So I've got a tag then. I have done the tags earlier because I wanted to put the letters on because I knew I would lose them by the time I came here. Um, because I'm not usually very safe with things. Do I want sweet vanilla? Maybe I do. If you coloured something and you think, no, nah, that's not the colour I wanted, you can always go over it. I think I'm picking up colours off my my workbench now. There we are. So that one, we'll add a little bit of a darker colour. So that one is sweet vanilla. And then I think we may have a little bit of sand castle just around the edge. I'm just thinking which size they go in. So I'll add a little bit of sand castle down here. I mean, like I say, I don't really think about shading when I'm doing them. I just add a little bit of colour where I want to add it. You can go over them just to blend it a little bit more. Do you want it a little bit darker? You can do. Uh, what else have I got here that I can put a little bit darker? Maybe a little bit of honeycomb. It's a little bit of a... There we go. A little bit more added on and then we'll blend it back then. I did say I wasn't doing any blending, didn't I? But this is not technical blending. I mean, this is just a little bit of playing. And then we'll go over that bit. And that's it. That's how I've created my tags. So I've got a little bit of colour on the outside and then a little bit paler. And I've used some alphabets and this is the Cirrus alphabet. It is available on the website if you need it. Um, there is um, numbers with it yeah. and there's also uppercase. So these are all my, my little words I've done. I've done love and hope because as I say, these are kind of the words that are coming to my mind at the moment. We want to send everybody a little bit of love and we also want to send them a little bit of hope. Hope that we'll be out and about soon. Yeah. <laughs> no, that, that's right. I think we can try and do something a little bit kind every day and, and spread it, that about at the moment. That's the, that's the best way we can spend this extra time that we can. Exactly. Or exactly. Just, and it'll just keep spinning and keep the keep us all turning and keeping us keeping us going until it's all over. But yeah, that's. That's what it's about. I think that like projects like this, which are fun, vibrant, and just yeah, they cheer you up. Like you know, you don't. I definitely felt quite cheered doing this. It is the activities that you do. They they affect your brain. They they you know they using those brighter colours, thinking of projects like you know love and hope, thinking of the of times when we'll all be able to see each other again. Thinking of of these times, feed that into your projects. You know, feed that sort of that hope, that love, that hope. And yeah, you create some awesome stuff and then send it and because yeah, we, we'll all see each other soon, you know? I mean, you can also, what if you left this on, on a friend's doorstep? Yeah. Or on their letterbox, maybe drop them off, maybe a little box of chocolate. Yeah, or, yeah. Perhaps you bake cake. Maybe make lemonade, you know, maybe you make whatever. Well, exactly, just <laughs> yeah. add this onto it. Where's the other red? I've just added it. The trouble is, when I turn them all over, I can't see the colours, can I? <laughs> I've literally just had it. Good there point. it is. So I've just put a little bit of a darker colour down the outside and I'm just going over it with a lighter red. And I mean, you can decorate these with your crystal drops then, add little bits of that. I haven't put anything on it at the moment, so I wanted to add a little bit of, of a heart on top of my love and I wanted a little bit of a star on my hope. So if if you like this card sent out to you, send us a little message in on the bottom of the, the post and we'll get it in the post to you. So I got a bit of glue on the back there and I don't want to cover up my hope. And then I also had in the kit as well is 
another little grapefruit, grapefruit segment. Another little, well, it could be grapefruit. It could be a grapefruit It could segment. be. That could be what you want. Maybe. Maybe I do. What is the pink grapefruit then? We'll open up another one of these. I had an orange on the last one. You but make we'll this have... cocktail as fruity as you well. want. Well. <laughs> that is up to you. We'll add a bit of pink. Show you a few more colours that are available to you. So that one was Pink Lady. And this one is Fresh Watermelon. I did say the colours were You're going to be covered in those stickers. <laughs> I know. I try and leave the, the name on them. Yeah. That's the reason I take... Um, I take the thing off deck very very cautiously I take them off because I want to save it so there's my little bit of pink grapefruit and this can be added on just as a little decoration wherever you fancy where we go in with this um, maybe just behind my bee again there we go give it a little bit of a press and there's my card. Awesome. So a little bit, they're more or less the same. <laughs> you know, you don't always get the same for me, yeah, but no, they're more or less. So Everyone's hopefully you like them and maybe somebody will have them in the post. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, and everyone's going to be individual. That's the cool thing about it. It's all going to be individual. Um, yeah, brilliant. Thanks. I love that project. So yeah, if you like that, the Jam Jar set, that's available on the Tonic store. Uh, as well as those bundles of pens, those alcohol markers that Ali used during that. And if you comment on this video, um, yeah, we'll send that out to you. We'll draw it at random and someone will receive. Oh, we got two of them. We can send out we two. We have got two. We can send out two. So yeah, um, two comments drawn at random. We'll get the, this sent out to you and hopefully that, that'll cheer you up a little bit. So next up, we've got a Lou Sims who's going to be talking us through a bit more detail about our nouveau embellishment mousses. Hi, it's Lou and I'm here today at Tonic Studios to talk a little bit more about embellishment mousses. So what are embellishment mousses? They are a beautiful pearlescent mousse that creates different texture on your card. The texture can be smooth or it can actually be dimensional. You can use the mousses with a range of different products. You can use them with the blending sponges, the brushes and spatulas. And each will create a different look depending on the surface that you use. So let's grab some different card. So I've grabbed a range of different Craft Perfect cards. So I've got the normal Craft Perfect Classic, some glitter card, some acetate, some of the speciality papers, pearlescent card, and finally the watercolor card. Each of these cards the mousses can be used on and each will create a different look. So if we start with the watercolor card, if I start using a sponge, you can create straight away, you can go around the edge with a sponge to create a border. You can use more than one colour to blend. So I can still come in and go over my original colour and then I can create a blended effect. And the mousse will now trans transform the watercolour texture into a nice pearlescent finish. So you transform a dull finish into a beautiful pearlescent. You can spritz this whilst it's still wet and then dab away and that will create another look or another background. If you have pearlescent card and you're making a project and you want it to colour coordinate whether it's with your embossing powders, your pens or your inks, use your mousses. If I take a plain pearlescent card and I'm going to now turn this into another colour, I can go over with my mousse on the pearlescent card and I've actually changed it in colour but I haven't lost either the pearlescent from the card below or even the texture from the card below. I can still blend and I can add more colours on it but it's a great way the mousse is to actually colour coordinate your projects. If we use the speciality papers you can use the mousses now to change these and not lose the effect of the design that you have on the speciality paper. So if I put a little bit on the sponge and I gently rub over, as you can see, the debossed images stay the original colour and the raised parts become the colour of the mousse. And this is a great way of creating 
a two-tone background with your mousses. For acetate, the mousse is a little bit trickier, but it does work. You can blend, but you are better with acetate to use your spatula and put your mousse across the top. I would add it with the spatula and then I would go over with the blending sponge. And once it is dry, it will actually create a very subtle background that you can then use and it creates a beautiful pearlescent background. The mousse also works on the Craft Perfect um, glitter card and you can change the colour of the glitter card but not lose any of the texture that the glitter card gives you or any of the, the background behind the glitter. It just adds a pearlescent shimmer on top of the original glitter background. And finally, the classic card from Craft Perfect. This can be used, it has a beautiful woven weave texture and the mousse works superbly with that because you can still see the actual textured background for the, um, the classic card and it gives a lovely dimension to your card. And again, you can use it to color coordinate. I've mainly used the sponges, but each of the cards that I've used can be used with the brushes, but they will create a different depth. So using the sponges, you can put more product on. Using a brush, it would give a little bit more of a, a subtle effect if I brushed it on top. So it all depends on how much you want to add to your project and what sort of look you are looking for. Again, the mousses can be used again with stencils. So create a background and use the spatula to go over the top with your mousses. You, you can use more than one colour because they will blend together. So you can use your mousses in lots of different ways. So you could create a background with your mousse and then go over with a stencil, creating even more de definition. I hope that gives you some ideas of what you can do with the embellishment mousses. Next up, we've got Jeanette Lane, who's going to be showing us a demo using the brand new Designer's Choice 7, the Elegant Invite Pocket. Hello, hello, I'm Jeanette Lane for Tonic Studios. Hope you're keeping well and safe. Today I'm sharing a rainbow peekaboo card that I made with the May Designer's Choice Elegant Invite Pocket die set. So let's get started. I really love intricate dies, so I wanted to create a card with a peekaboo kind of see-through panel with like a rainbow inky blended rainbow in the background and this designer's choice die set is perfect for creating not just invites or gift card holders but beautiful cards that are really effortless so to start off i'm trimming down uh, my piece of white cardstock and just cutting that down to five and a half inches by eight inches and then I'm gonna grab my larger inner pocket die and I'm gonna place that at the very bottom right corner of my um, cutting pad sandwich. <laughs> and then we're gonna run that through the die cutting machine. As you can see, we're left with a stunning see-through aperture element, and I want to repeat the same process on the um, opposite side of my card front. So I'm just going to rotate my card uh, and put the large inner pocket die on the bottom right-hand corner and just run that through my machine again. Now the coolest thing about this die set is that you can create a pocket for an invitation or a mini album with the outer dies that are included. So since I'm not using the outer die, I'm using the inner pocket die, I get a lovely see-through element on my card. But once you add that outer die and you get the little scored tabs that create the pocket, it's just like a completely new die set. And I think it's so clever. 
It's time to create my blended rainbow background and I'm going to be using some distress inks for that. But first I'm trimming down a piece of white cardstock for my background paper to the same size as the card front. So again, the measurement for that is five and a half inches by eight inches. Now for an ink blended rainbow background, you want to start off with your first color uh, at the bottom and then work your way up. At least that's how I'm doing it, except I'm starting right to left, but it's the right of the bottom of my card. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> hope that makes sense. But you can do your rainbow any which way. You can do it vertically or even diagonally. And you want to blend the color into your card in little circles. I'm using a foam tip blender, but there are other blending tools that you can use. And personally, I've got my eye on the new precision blending brushes they're on my wish list they look fabulous but uh back let's get back to blending <laughs> and when you move on to the next color you don't want to start blending too far from your previous color you want to blend it in a little bit over the last color so that's how you're going to get that kind of seamless effect and if you're not confident with ink blending practice 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 it always takes me a while to blend in the colors and i sped up the process like i sped up this video uh, quite a bit so the blending process is not as quick as it appears so don't give up if you're having trouble my rainbow background is done so now i can move on to gluing that to my card front and then once that's done i'm going to glue that to a plain black card base which is just slightly bigger than my card front so i'm just going to get a nice little border all around my rainbow blended <laughs> background. I'll be adding the sentiment now and I'm going to be using the one that says for you included in the set but you can choose from invitation and a gift so lots of gorgeous options and I'm going to be using the flourish die as well because it gives me the most delicate accent to add on either side of my sentiment and I'm going to be cutting two of those so it just kind of frames my for you on the center of my card front and I'm going to put that all kind of like in a slight jaunty angle. I don't know, I feel it looks better than just keeping it nice and symmetrical and straight. And I'm also gonna double up on the for you. So I'm gonna cut two of those and glue those together, glue those two layers together, just to give my sentiment a little bit more bulk. I'm gluing my three elements down and I tend to have bad luck when it comes to the end of card. And it's at this point where I accidentally drop an open ink pad on it or I end up smudging it somehow. Does that ever happen to you too? It just never fails to happen, especially like it, when I'm almost done with a card, it's like in the home stretch, that's when disaster strikes for me. So I'm being really careful because um, I just keep getting that feeling like it's gonna happen, especially because I'm working with a white card. So to make sure that I get zero smudges on my card front, I'm using a piece of acetate to press my elements down until my glue is set. So a good option if you just wanna be extra safe at this point. I wanted to add a little something something in the form of sparkle to my card front. So I'm grabbing some colorful gemstones and I love and also appreciate, really appreciate that the die guides me to where these will look best. So notice the pierced patterns here. You can use these as placement guides for your gemstones, your pearls and Nouveau drops. And I'm using the larger piercings for my gemstones. And I love that I don't have to think about it. I can just start placing, positioning those gemstones in the perfect spot. And I'm done with my rainbow peekaboo card. Thank you so much for watching. Please keep well and safe. See you soon. Thank you for that wonderful demo. And that's it for the show this week. We had an awesome week here at Tonic Studio. It's been really busy. Um, we've had, let me look at the list of launches that we have. We had the Satchels launch earlier we this have. week. So a real retro inspired sort of 3D project bag. 
if you check that out that was on crit and craft uh, with jody we also had the jewelry box on friday and um, what's the other one called um, um, wow. Armoire. Armoire bo Armoire. box as well. Bit of French so, there. Yeah, really, really, <laughs> good, really good, easy to make gift boxes. Uh, that will launch as well. And all those will be available direct on the store uh, within 30 days of their launch on Crit and Craft, then after 30 days. Um, we've also got this amazing USA, you know, so if you watch from the USA, this. It's been a bit US, uh, UK centric this show, but the US have got an awesome sale on. It started on Friday and it's running all the way until the 1st of June. Um, just like the spring clean sale that we had in, in the UK, you got some brilliant deals and you're getting four bundles added each day at like sort of incredible discounts on some stuff that you may not ever have seen before. Uh, so yeah, check those out. There's gonna be bundles every day. So check the US website for those. We also launched the magazine. So the magazine, originally the, the basic issue came out uh, a few months back now before all the happenings globally. <laughs> and uh, But yeah, it's available now on Crate and Craft. It, it was available, it showed off. It's going to be available you know, worldwide as well. Uh, but they had a special bundle on there with an extra die if you wanted that. That magazine has got incredible value in this, this time because you've got the die, which is probably worth more than the mag itself. Yeah. Then you've got uh, all these demonstrations and bits included too. Uh, then you've got your stamp set, you've got a stencil in there, and you've got papers and cool stuff too. So yeah, uh, a brilliant mag to have. Ali's got a few uh, projects. I wanted to show you a couple of more projects, also using the mason jar that I've just shown you. Um, these are using the alcohol, um, not the alcohol markers, these are using the Aquaflows. And there's also a shimmer pen that goes over the top of them. So if you can see the lovely glimmer in there, that's from the shimmer pen just used on top of Aquaflows. So you can see they're really stunning, bright, vibrant colours. Um, so hopefully these are done by Marie, Maria Willis, by the way. Um, beautiful designs. Thank you, Maria. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, that's it for the show this week. Join us next Sunday for another Tonic TV where we'll have more demos, fun, uh, and all that other stuff uh, and keeping you up to date with everything that's happened at Tonic Studios. So from me, Alison and Dan, we'll see you soon, everyone. Have a great weekend. Bye. See you soon. Bye-bye.